But she don't. Okay. Triple that. Oh. Yeah. Well, I've got borrowed gloves and a borrowed coat and. <laughs> <laughs> And the man of Laramie Wagon Train Emergency and Mini Movies, Mr. <laughs> Robert Ford. <laughs> and Mr. Grizzly Adams, an all round tall tale teller, <laughs> Mr. Dan Haggerty. <laughs> the whip, this woman terrifies me, I swear to God. Be out in the lobby at 9 o'clock, I open my door, she's standing there. <laughs> and we're five minutes late. <laughs> okay, before we get started uh, with the Q&A, uh, the Fuller fans have a presentation for Mr. Fuller, so if Carol Erickson would come up, please. Wow, they're going to give him an air conditioner. This is nice. I know. Oh, thank you. Okay. Bob, on behalf of the Robert Fuller fandom, we would like to present to you this certificate in honor of Cowboy Up for Pets. These donations were made from all your fans and made in your name. So oh, thank you for all of that. You can award award. Thank you guys. Thank you. They can all use it. You want to hold that for me? I'll hold it, Bob. Okay. Okay. Thank you. I take it you heard all that. I heard it, but I didn't know what it was. What is it? It was a bunch of people screaming and clapping for you. Oh, okay. Well, hey, I just thought I was going to have a rock track here. <laughs> hey, Jim! <laughs> That's great. You can't really tell what's happening from the other end of the phone, but I can hear you loud and clear. So, anyway, uh, can they hear me now? Yeah, yeah. Yes, I can hear you now. <laughs> okay, well, good afternoon, folks, and I'm so, so sorry that I'm not up there with you. I really wish I was. I could have made the trip this year, but as you all know, it was it became impossible to get the, the problems that my wife is having. So we're here to take care of her, and, and I know you all understand. But uh, the the event up there, the uh, settlement for that, is very dear to my heart. We we started it five years ago, and it's become a, a major major event in Northern Ohio. It helped an awful lot of veterans with with their problems that I. I'm very proud of all of you that are there, and I, I, I hope you can withstand the cold wind and the, and, and the, the, the hot wind and the cold, but that's something we face just about every year at this time of year. And this is for Judy Schaefer. Hi, Judy. Why don't we do this thing a little later in the year? Yeah. Like maybe in June. <laughs> it, might, it might be a little, a little warmer for people, if you know what I mean. Anyway, uh, uh, whatever you have, it's a great event, and I, again, I'm sorry I couldn't make it up there, and I, I hope uh, uh, this is for Bobby Fuller and uh, Dan Haggerty and Roberta Shaw. I hope you guys can keep your, your fingers and toes warm while you're doing all this stuff with the folks. And, uh, We're having uh, a great time, hey, Jim. Jim. Absolutely. Yeah. Say hi to Coraline for us. What's that? They yeah. said that they miss you, Jim, and say hi to your wife, and we love you. Okay. That was Bob screeching in the microphone. 50 years. Okay, fine. Right, just give me a minute. Okay. We've got a question for Mr. Dury. How is his wife? Oh, they want to know how Miss Carl Ann is. She's doing great and uh, getting better all the time, and we're making progress on a lot of fronts. So I'm very pleased with, with what's going on, and I think uh, I think she'll get better over the summer and and uh, getting, uh, getting a lot of a lot of work done in a lot of areas. So 
Well, we're so glad I'm here to help her with all that. Okay, we'll get another question here. Does he miss us? <laughs> Some lady he wants does. to know if he if you miss them. Oh, I absolutely miss you guys. I'm sorry I won't have a chance to see you this summer, but we'll try to make up for it the following year if we can do it. I want to say a big shout out to the the Black Swamp Band. It's a wonderful. Uh, shooting club is putting on that uh, Cowboy Mountain shooting exhibition there. I, I, you guys are wonderful, and I, I, you do a great job. I'm really pleased with a lot of people. And Tato, if you're listening, just keep your powder dry and and uh, uh, go ahead and entertain those kids. I know they're going to love everything you do. Oh, that's nice. How did he get the part of the Virginia? Did he, he hear that? John yeah, Tips? yeah, he heard yeah. that. He heard that. Jim. The girl wants to know how you got the part in your show. Oh, I, how I got the part in the Virginia? Yes. Yeah. Uh, well, I had to. I had to do street test for it. In fact, I did three street tests for it. And every time I, I did a street test, they, their only comment was, "You're too fat. Lose some weight." So in 30 days, I lost 30 pounds. And finally, went in there and they said, "Okay." And then they let us know we had. They let Doug McClure, I know we got the parts of the Virginia and Trampas on the Friday night before the Monday morning we started to shoot. Wow. And nine years later we were done. So that's just, that, that's the whole story right there. That's actually what happened. Okay, that's, yes sir, just a second. All right, can you get Jim to tell the story about how uh, uh, Roberta drove him crazy with her singing? <laughs> I want you to tell a story about how Roberta drove you crazy with her singing. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Roberta, as you know, is a, is a great singing voice. And she, she's been musical all her life. She's been involved in all kinds of music, and she's great at it. But, uh, I, I have, naturally, when you're trying to do a part as, as complex as the Virginian, you have a lot on your mind. And when I'm standing outside the set, ready to make an entrance or do something, she would sing a song from West Side Story called I Want to Be in America. But the way she would sing it would drive me nuts. It was like a knife on a blackboard. And she'd sing it, sing it, sing it. So anyway, for my 80th birthday, she did a beautiful rendition of it up there. And I, I, I was glad to hear it again. I, did, I hope she doesn't do it again until my life. <laughs> okay. Okay. We we have the other. Yes. Just a second. Does he miss doing it? Does he miss okay. acting? Yeah. The young lady wants to know if you miss doing the show. Oh, miss doing the Virginia? Yes. No, oh, every day I'd still be doing it if it was on the air. Believe me. No. Uh, no, I I do miss it, and uh, you know everything runs its course, and we had a. A, a wonderful run. Uh, the very few shows get a chance to go nine full seasons, and we did. And uh, I'm terribly grateful for that. I would like to have gone 18 seasons, but that's the way the ball boxes, and uh, it really comes to an end. So we're, we're just happy we had a chance to make it while we did. Okay, before he wants me okay. to sing to him. Well, <laughs> before, before, before you tell him, Roberta wants to know if you want her to sing to you. Yeah. 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 Okay, okay. okay. We'll, we'll let you go and we'll talk to you soon. Bye, Jim. Okay. Bye, Bye. Bye. Bye.